are following the tread of a medical emergency in Shortland Street. No one has a clue. They will if they keep seeing us together. It's not Hunter Mackay, is it? <laughs> what? It's just that I've seen you guys together twice today. You know. <sighs> okay, I'm not ashamed of our relationship and neither should you be. I am ashamed. We are over. Now just go. Please, just go. You've been so early. Walk. Oh. Doesn't look as though you did you a lot of good. Face on you. All right. See you later. He's right. You look really bad. So, what's up? Mystery girlfriend dump you. She did. I've never seen you like this. She must have been pretty special. I'm fine, thanks. Well, I'm guessing this isn't just hay fever. I broke up with my boyfriend this morning. Right. And uh, who are we talking about? Dave, of course. Who else would it be? Tess. Dave might be a friend, but he's definitely not a boyfriend. Last night there was more spark between Dave and his dinner. Whatever. But then when Hunter walked in and uh, heard Dave being called your boyfriend, he looked like he'd been shot. He looked just as miserable as you do now, in fact. He had a crush on me. Mm, and then things got out of hand. Sarah, he's 17, for God's sake. Yeah, which is why you had to drum up the fake boyfriend. Look, I'm not, I'm not having a go. I'm the last one to bag anyone for making big, dumb mistakes. I specialise in them. <laughs> I'm going to get back to work. Until we nail this guy, you cannot skimp on personal security. No slip-ups, no just this once. Make use of the extra guards the hospital have put on. Yep, there aren't enough. Now, I know some of you are using personal alarms, which is a good idea. We'll be issuing them to all staff. You could also take a self-defence class and arrange carpools to get to work with others. Mm, carpooling is fine for nine to fivers, but it's impossible for shift workers. Especially now that every guy here is a potential suspect and can't be trusted to have a girl in the car. Let's keep it positive, please. Which brings me to the warning. Pepper sprays, mace and other self-defence items bought over the net are legal and as dangerous to you as an offender. Bin them. Here, here. Excuse me, but when are you going to catch this bloke? As soon as we can. Well, some of us would like to be excluded from that list of suspects. Can you tell us if this guy's fat, thin, tall, short? At this stage, we're looking for a male, probably between 18 and 40. <laughs> we can't say any more in case we jeopardise our investigation. Well, that's not a lot of help to us. All right, that should do it for now. Thank you. Oh. That pretty much says it all. Rapist and murderers on one side, chicks on the other. Yeah. Anyway, you pack a work bro, has the face. Mm, it's okay. Bloody disgraceful is what it is. Men are a bloody minority group in this joint. Second class citizens. Come on, bro, it's not that bad. No, see, I thought that once too, and look where it got me. But anyway, who's up for the lock-in tonight? At the IV. Yeah, bro, World Cup. Blokes only. Cow man. Be nice to get a break from the dirty locks. <laughs> Give it a bone. Sounds like a plan. I'll check with the missus. No girls? Amen to that, brother. Anything? No, nothing. They don't live in the same area, completely different occupations. Engineering student and an unemployed aerobics instructor. And they've never laid eyes on each other, which leaves us parked in a great big corner. That engineering student looked pretty fit. He might have worked out what the instructor did. Yeah, but if she's unemployed, how could she afford gym fees? What if she worked there under the table? Yeah, nice one. You know what we really need? More admissions. <laughs> A few more cases that definitely indicate we're not wasting our time. Cheerful thought, mate. But yeah, I'll get onto the Department of Health and see if any of the red flags are coming up. Nice. Yeah, I'll check out the gyms. You know, I got a bad feeling about this one, TK. I mean, if we're wrong, cool, but if we're right, the sooner we suss this out, the more lives we save.
Snap! I told them you had gastro. I don't think they believe me, though. Look, I don't care who she was. This is pathetic. This is so not you. What? Did you, like, catch her with another guy or something? Hunter, please get mad or something. Put Radiohead on or whatever. I'm worried. I'm okay. Hey. So, are you sick or what? Half sick. Yeah? Who's the lucky girl that had the narrow escape? What'd I say? It's not you, it's him. He say why he's like this? No, and it's starting to freak me out. Well, maybe I should talk to no, him. Just leave him. But he might open up with me. Let him calm down first. Anyway, you're not here to see him. No. What do you want to do? Oh, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Cool. Coffee? Coffee, great. Digging it. So what position did you play? Started off as a winger. Mm, so your winger needs to be a very particular kind of bloke. He needs to be big, big and fast, yeah. That's probably why I moved to first five. Started playing when I was seven. So you'll be catching the game tonight, right? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Well then do it. Lock in at the IV. Okay. Good man. Cheers, boss. This is not work related. Special dispensation. I found a little organic market while I was at lunch. I've got everything we need for our curry tonight. Turmeric, fenugreek, curry leaf, even tamarind. I'll have to go home first and cook dinner for Uncle Vijay, then I'm all yours. Ah. <laughs> You've changed your mind? No, not at all. It's just, there's a big rugby game on tonight. We can have our curry another night. But one day you could take me to a game and explain the ins and outs. I've seen a little on television, but it's incomprehensible. Stop, start, stop, then the audience cheers if a man kicks the ball off the field. Why don't you come tonight? We'll be watching it at the IV. Then I can explain to you why it's the best game on the planet. Second best? Cricket is only just above marbles. Never say that to an Indian. Never. Okay. We'll come tonight and all will be revealed. Wonderful. I look forward to it. I've got a list of psychologists that are interested in running the addiction support groups and I've got a room that we can book for Tuesday and Wednesday evenings and... Clients? Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> I've done up an outline of what the sessions will try to achieve and we can put them up in the waiting rooms to determine the level of interest. Good. Sounds good. Excuse me. Callum Mackay. Mr. Pre. Which of my children is giving you grief? Ah, uh, as far as I'm aware, he's not ill. I see. Let me find out and get back to you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Hunter has WAG school, which normally wouldn't be major, but he's supposed to head the debating team, and he doesn't usually give up a chance to show off in public. Well, perhaps he's coming down with a bug. No, he's upset about something. Well, he was this morning. Teenagers. Yeah, I suppose. He just... He normally gets stroppy, not depressed. Anyway, I guess I'll have to grill him, find out what's really going on. <laughs> so, let me see this. 